This is a horrible story. A teen ate leftover rice and noodles. Hours later, doctors amputated his legs and fingers. Hours after eating leftovers from a restaurant, a 19-year-old was admitted to the hospital with multiple organ failure and later had both his legs and all his fingers. That's all his fingers amputated. The Massachusetts college student had eaten rice, chicken, and lo mein from a restaurant. Soon after, he felt abdominal pain, and his skin turned a shade of purple, according to a report by the New England Journal of Medicine. Hmm. The teenager was admitted to a hospital for shock, multiple organ failure, and rash, and its condition quickly declined. He experienced abdominal breathing, high blood pressure, and vomiting. The student had been healthy overall with regular drinking and smoking habits, the report said. After further tests, he was diagnosed with meningococcal purpura fulminant disease, which caused his stiff neck, nausea, respiratory collapse, shock, and organ failure, according to the report. Purpura fulminant is a rare complication that comes with septic shock, which the college student experienced according to the report. The condition is caused by bacteria and brings symptoms such as sudden fever and vomiting. The Centers for Disease and Control Prevention warns it can lead to death in as little as a few hours. Over the course of his hospital stay, his condition worsened and he developed necrosis, the death of tissues and cells. At that point, doctors had to amputate his legs and fingers, according to the report. He also needed a pacemaker for 13 days to treat his cardiac dysfunction. Experts have warned against the dangers of improperly storing leftover rice because such as rice and pasta contain a bacterium called Bacillus cereus. The bacteria produces a toxin when heated and left out too long, according to the CDC. In 2008, a teenager died in his sleep after eating leftover pasta that wasn't refrigerated overnight in a case that was reported in the Journal of Clinical Microbiology. The medical team learned that although the Massachusetts student had received the first dose of the meningococcal vaccine, he never received the recommended booster. You hear that people? Booster, the key word. His roommate also ate the leftover food and vomited, but didn't have life-threatening relations. So that's kind of a horrible story, you know? It sounds like he ate some Chinese food. Ah, my, my.